Hello, and welcome to the Unscripted Podcast. Thank you. All right. Very excited to be here today. Um, Let's just talk about it right away. So, sir, <laughs> quiet on set, please. Wait, wait, let me let me explain first and then you can get into that. Um, so obviously we are in costume today. We are doing a costume every week for the month of October, which we teased a little earlier in another episode. And I'm super excited about that. We are big Halloween fans over here and we love to dress up. So I thought it'd be fun to include that on the podcast and each week just do iconic costumes and costumes of characters that we love and things like that so today we are bob and linda belcher from bob's burgers love that show i got my wine like oh, linda cheers. i do want to oh, cheers okay. but um linda is always drinking wine on the show i love that if i were a mom i'd probably be linda um i feel very connected to her <laughs> i don't even think bob drinks wine with her mm, not a lot because it's always her just like with the bottle hogging it with the glass and he doesn't even have any yeah he just cares about his burgers which is fitting because i'm gonna be doing the chugging today and you're gonna be cooking the burgers so we I'm have gonna, i'm gonna have a bit too i'm gonna have some too you'll have your fun but you're gonna be doing some work i'm gonna put you to work yeah. today okay. um and we are going to have a very fun episode planned um it's going to be a, it might be a little chaotic just 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 a preface because right. um we're starting to cook the burgers. We're going to make two sandwiches or two hamburgers from the show. Um my sister has a Bob's Burgers cookbook filled with recipes from all of the burger of the day menus that Bob creates. So we chose two of our own to do. And um, we've already prepped the ingredients, but Dre here is going to make the burgers right on the show in front of you. So that's just going to be a pleasant surprise. <laughs> and um, we're just going to get into it while you cook. All right. Sounds good. I'm ready for it. Can't wait to eat, dude. I know. We're also really hungry. We This is like past dinner time. So um, we kind of need to do this now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we're really hungry so go ahead and and start her up oh it's on max already yeah, yeah it yeah. heats up pretty fast so in front of us we have a stovetop burner um we're new to this world but we bought one for our camping trip and we love it we loved it ever since and so that's what we're going to be using to cook our burgers with and you have a beautiful mm -hmm. little view of the pan i love it <sighs> my gosh what a day what a day <laughs> It's been a day. Also, we have a green screen thing going on right now. So fingers crossed if this works, you're seeing a beautiful background, Bob Burgers inspired. Um, but if not, we're Working behind an <laughs> ugly fucking vomit green background. So that's how you know that that didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying something new we're trying to test the boundaries here um and i've never really played with green screen before so just winging it and just winging it yeah really um i hope it turns out good i i won't know until this comes out so we'll all see together that'll be a fun little easter egg i was thinking earlier today that we are a lot like Bob and Linda because <laughs> their characters are so funny. Like Linda in particular, she's always like, like her character is like, she drinks wine. She's a mom. She's Wait, did like, did you want me to do these individually? Bro. Sorry. I'm so sorry. The burgers are cooking. Um, it smells Let them cook. delicious <laughs> in here. <laughs> um, Hold on. What? Somebody cooked here. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you need to season those or? Do you want me to? 
I mean, I, you want me to? I usually season them with at least salt and pepper. Oh, wait, you grabbed some. I did, yeah. Let me, let me grab that real quick. Because, <clears throat> yeah. I think they're about ready to flip. ASMR me. A little dash of salt. Hit them with some pepper. Usually I would do some garlic powder, but we don't have any on hand. We don't have any in the stew right now. Um, so the burgers that we're cooking, mine is called the Poblano Picasso Burger, and it's a burger, basically a regular burger that has um, a salsa inside of it, and I don't know, it sounded good. Yours is the bruschetta about it burger. The bruschetta about it. The bruschetta, um, which has tomatoes, bruschetta fresh mozzarella, basil, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, all the good things. So this is our first time trying it. I hope that it's good. <laughs> I, I love, um, it does that. I don't know what that means. Mm. So, yeah. Well, it's. It looks right. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you can see the smoke. Um, but besides the burgers, let's get into our show. We have a fun show planned here. Um, so <laughs> one of the things... Oh, my God. I have to talk about this. So on TikTok the other day, you and I both saw these hamster, hamster oh wheel God, TikTok dude. lives. It's the best thing that I've ever seen. Um, and I don't know if you've seen it on your For You pages, but I could... It's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> we were watching it for like five... <laughs> no, honestly, I swear, like, we were watching it for like five to eight minutes, but I swear we would have watched it longer. But the guy yeah. actually, like, it was like 10 p.m., so the guy, like, put a... Took like, he off. was slowly taking the hamsters off the wheels and clearing everything out, and he was, like, changing it to, like, nighttime setting. And he was, like... He ended his life for the day. But I was like, what the hell? Like... But it, it was just so freaking funny. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, it was so entertaining. I could watch it for hours and hours. Yeah, they're probably live right now. They're probably live right now. But uh, don't go yet. Just finish this one and then... <laughs> um, I did include a video. I'll put it on the screen. Because um, <laughs> it was just so funny. Um, but yeah, I don't know why. I just wanted to talk about that. Because I thought about it and it was funny. We're currently um, pet sitting for my sister who is in Tennessee right now. She's um, visiting Dollywood. And so if you're watching this, cheers to you, partner. We're watching your cat and your dog. Ben, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's been... A journey. A journey. The journey. <laughs> so I wanted to talk a bit about the Britney Spears <laughs> knives incident that happened on Instagram. Um, so for those that don't know, Britney shared a video of herself dancing with two metal kitchen knives on Instagram. As she does, like with her, <laughs> with her like, um, <laughs> what's it called? Low waist. Um, Low rise. Low rise, is that what it was called? Like the bikinis and the jeans and like the crop tops. And she's just like dancing in her living room. Such a vibe. Um, but she, she started dancing with knives the other day. And um, I don't know what the original caption was, but she, I think it said, I started playing in the kitchen with knives today. And then later on when everybody was like worried about her, then she put, she added, don't worry, they're not real knives. Halloween is soon. Um, and I've been following up with this. It's funny because there's, like, been developments <laughs> with it. So, like, I guess after that video happened, she posted another video um, where she had, like, a wrist, like, gauze on her arm, like, a oh, wrist yeah. tape or something. And then she had, like, a slice on her thigh or something. So people were speculating, like, oh, shit, like, she got burned by... Or she, sorry, I was thinking about this. She got um, <laughs> burned. <laughs> she got cut by the knives. Like, so they were thinking like she's, she's 
using real knives and they were concerned about her. So I guess that led to like people calling the police and demanding them to do a, a welfare check on her. And so um, they re- the law enforcement received a lot of concerns for Brittany based on her video. And so they went to her house. Law enforcement sources tell us that the initial call for the welfare check was made by a member of the LAPD SMART team, a group that handles mental evaluations. Cops made the decision to go to Brittany's house because the person actually had some knowledge of Brittany and her situation and wasn't just a fan. Um, once the officers so arrived... Like closer? No, it was a it was an, an officer. The LA, part of the LEPD SMART team, a group that handles mental evaluations. Oh. Once the officers arrived, they spoke with Brittany's security, who assured them that she was okay but didn't want to speak, so the deputies left. Brittany's attorney called the cops later that day, asking about the visit, and deputies assured him they only made the visit because the call was made by someone who knew Brittany. They didn't make welfare checks for fan calls. But yeah, later on, she posted another video where she was like saying that the knives were from a certain shop, like a a prop shop, and she shouted out their name. And I guess that that um, shop was actually like going out of business, and they were they needed the the money. And so because she like shouted them out, a bunch of people wow. went and started buying shit from them. And so she helped out that store from financial ruin. And so it's kind of like a nice little story. So they were fake. Apparently they were fake. But That's what she said. What's with the gauze? I don't the... know. I don't know. Maybe I mean it'd be funny if if she just she didn't even use them. She didn't even <laughs> use them. But like I mean at the end like hey she she gave she some business that, to yeah. a small business. That's true. They were called the the hand prop room in L.A. And they told TMZ that online traffic and calls to have the shop. To the shop have doubled since Britney dropped name dropped them on Instagram, and their rental sales for their props, especially knives, have gone up fifty percent. Just hilarious! That's it's so nice. funny. What an icon! There has been a funny <laughs> TikTok video though that people have made where they like green screened her. <laughs> like my favorite thing right now. They green screened her out of her knife dancing her. video. <laughs> If we should make our own. Uh. <laughs> they green screened her out of her shit. And she's doing the knives. And she's like in like a cinematic movie. Like I let me play it right now because that's just freaking hilarious. Um, <laughs> we have to watch this. I love it so much. Where's this thing at? Dude. <laughs> Dude, that one's so good. Like, when I do the slow one. Oh my god, they have her up in the air. Oh my god, that's everything. <laughs> that's so fucking funny. Oh my gosh. That's just hilarious. <laughs> it's my favorite thing on the planet right now. Um,. So the so the burgers are done? Yeah. Burgers are done. Nice. So are you going to heat up the... So what's next then? Oh, I forgot. What? I was supposed to put the mozzarella on my... You can heat it up after. Yeah. But it's supposed to melt on it, you know? You can still heat it up after. Oh, maybe I, I can put it on the... On my French bread. Yeah. Slice. True. <laughs> Thank you. So, in other news, um Gypsy Rose Blanchard is set to be released this December, which is crazy. How old is she now? She is, gosh, I just looked this up. She's like, tw- she's 32. She's 32 now. Um, and she got her sentencing in when she was like 19. 
Dang. Or 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 actually, she, maybe she committed the murder when she was nineteen. I don't know. The whole story is crazy. Oh, right. Do you I remember forgot, what happened? I for, I had totally forgot they killed the mom. Yeah. I, I Spoiler that. alert. Oh, oh yeah. Well, come on. I'm kidding. That, that was huge. No, but I was. Fuck, I lost my train of thought <laughs> when you pulled this thing up. Well, you weren't <laughs> using your mic. <laughs> well. Um. Yeah, so she has been granted parole and is set to be released December this December, three years before her original release date. She was serving a 10-year prison sentence after being convicted of second-degree murder in connection with the death of her mo- mother and is set to be released on parole December 28th. Crazy. Do you remember you remember the details? I'm so sort mad of. at you because you didn't watch the Hulu series that came out about it because I was obsessed with that. They lost me, honestly. I, I you didn't like... watch it at all? What do you mean? No, no, no. I, re- I remember I watched some part of it with you and then I just... Don't that. listen to him. He's a fucking liar. All men are fucking pigs in their <laughs> life. <laughs> no, right? He has right. Is he the no, one? But no, is he the one that's so fucking insufferable and has never been punched in his face the entire life? Oh, no. Yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry. So, because I was watching one with you, I don't think it was that one. You, I don't I swear. So then I watched another swear one. Swear it was probably another one because you, you never watched, watched, watched it without me. You watched two of them. Two of them about were... the same sh- about this about yeah. this topic. Mm-hmm. I don't remember because I remember we were watching a series together, and then after some time. I was like, I'm done with this, and then I let you just. I don't go think on. so. I don't think it was that one. I'm pretty sure it was that one, dude. You're Who was lying. it with? Was that with Joy King? Oh my god, you're fucking was lying. It? You're a fucking was it? liar. Yes, it was with Joy King. So then I saw it. Well, you don't know anything. You have no taste. You were raised poorly. <laughs> you okay. Don't know anything. You're just gonna roast me now? <laughs> no, just stop <laughs> let me have my thing all right all right but just know i watched like up until like past halfway and then uh i tapped out why i don't know they lost me maybe i was done like watching all that <sighs> i was rooting for the mom to just kidding no um you don't even know anything. You don't know why it happened. I don't know why it happened. You don't know why it happened? Why, why did happened? it happen? Why? Why'd they kill her? Why? Yeah, why'd they kill her? Do you honestly think I don't know? I am i don't know what you know. I'm asking you. Because she made her believe that she was sick. Okay. And that she couldn't walk. And she was feeding her all this And that doesn't and excite you. Not excite you, but that. like that doesn't interest you? Yeah, but I think we had seen like a documentary first. And then we watched don't the series. And man. I was like... Don't listen to this man. I had enough of this, you know? I've seen this. this I know where it's headed. Okay, well, that goes to show where your head's at. Anyway, you're discrediting the whole Hulu series. It's a good damn series, all right? (laughs) Anyway, as you'll recall, Gypsy's then-boyfriend admitted to the murder in 2015... And he's serving a life sentence. Yeah, I was going to say, what about that He's serving a life sentence. um, So that sucks for him. While Gypsy was originally set to be released. Didn't she get married? I think I saw that she got married. And that her dad was (laughs) there. I think I saw something about that, but I don't remember. Um, Look it up. I guess I could. Pull it up, come on. Gypsy Rose... Free my girl Gypsy. She ain't Who doing is Gypsy deep. Rose's husband, Ryan Scott? Well, there you go. But Ryan Scott Anderson. Yeah, I could have sworn like they released footage of them like getting married, and then like her, her dad and her dad's wife or girlfriend was. That's there crazy. Too. I really wonder like, really how she for... like. How did she meet <laughs> this guy? Like, I don't know. Was he a fan? Maybe on MySpace or something. But she's in prison. How does she have MySpace? I guess. You don't even have to say anything. <laughs> I'm just like, I guess. There's ways. Yeah. Um. Anyways, for those that don't know, the her mom was accused of forcing Gypsy to pretend to be disabled for years, holding her hostage and even tying her up in a bed after Gypsy tried to escape. 
The mom reportedly suffered from Munchen, Mun, Munchausen by proxy, a mental disorder where a parent fabricates illnesses in their child for sympathy or attention. Gypsy is now 32, and she said in interviews from prison that she feels more free behind bars than she ever did when she was living with her mother, and soon she'll have a little more freedom. That's so sad. Like, honestly, I'm on. I'm kind of on Gypsy's side. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean... what the fuck? Like, obviously, we don't condone murder, but, like, what the fuck, bro? Like, you're fucked up for life with that shit. Like... That fucking mom is evil and fucking... She's crazy. She's sick. Did you want two of these? Or? <laughs> yeah, I'll have a, a dribble patty supreme. <laughs> <laughs> um, Most yeah. of them are thick. Mm. Yeah. Two or... Can you rip it? Rip it? Yeah. Rip, rip it in half. Hello? Okay. <laughs> That's like that. Half, but... Okay, it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'm really go with the flow. I don't care. Okay. Um. <clears throat> what do you need? Kind of like a napkin or something. <laughs> kind <laughs> of. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, free my girl Gypsy. Fuck Dee Dee Blanchard and um. May she come out Dee -dee. in December. <laughs> Uh, Dexter's Laboratory? I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you look no. a little lost after you No, that. I'm glad you um, said that for the people watching so they know what you're talking about. Ooh, beautiful melt on that cheese. See what I'm saying? I feel like it needs more, though. It does. I'm going to try it again. <sighs> Boom, there we but go. I also don't want it to stick, stick to, to the, the pan. pan. Stick to the pan. Stick to the pan. Stick to the... Is that a song? Big Sean? Stick to the plan. Oh my. I've never heard that song. You've heard it, dude. Never in my yes, life. Yes, you have. Never in my dude, life. Dude, you've heard it. Never. I'm about to pull it up right now. Pull it up. No, you can't. You can't play the song. You've, you've heard it because we listened to the album back when we used, we used to hike at Box Canyon. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's pretty good. What else is going on in the world? Um, Lil Tay has come back from a hiatus. I don't know what to think about this. I mean, I kind of, I, I, I know what I think about this. Um. <laughs> oh, we're struggling to get the fucking slices of bread out. And I'm over here having a philosophical discussion with myself. Um, so Lil Tay is is a. Do I need to preface this? Do people know? I think people know. I think people know. Maybe they forgot. Maybe they so. forgot. Um, she was like a nine-year-old little girl, like, flexing on Instagram and YouTube with wads of cash in her cars and, like, cursing and whatever. And that's how she got big because people were obviously like, what the fuck is this nine-year-old doing? Like, rapping, being vulgar, and having a bunch of cash and cars, whatever. She went on a hiatus like about two months ago. There was a thing that happened. There was a like it, it came out that so, uh, supposedly she died. <laughs> like it was a whole thing. Like she died. And like for a whole day, like every media outlet was reporting on her death. And I truly thought she had passed. And I was like, wow, that's really sad. Like, I wonder what happened. Um, but then fast forward to now she's she dropped a song. So people are saying like, oh, maybe this is like a PR move. I have no idea. I kind of, I feel like it kind of is. I don't know. I, I Yeah, it's just, you don't know with that kind of thing. Yeah. I, I just feel like maybe she kind of fell off and nobody cared about the whole money flexing thing. And so she's probably trying to still stay relevant. And I don't know. But then she also came out with like saying that she was like accusing her father or her parents or something about uh, for being abusive mentally and physically, which is obviously serious. So, I mean, if she's telling the truth, I feel for her and I hope that, you know, she heals from that. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, she took to, I think TikTok and she was like sharing photos of her, like with like bruises on her face. And she was saying that, that her dad 
would bring home random women all the time and hook up with them in front of her, which is obviously That's really weird, fucking bro. weird. Um, and that one of the girls that she was talking about is his father, her father's current wife. She described her as a career scammer. Um, that the the wife also abused her too, along with the father. Just crazy shit. Crazy. Yeah. So I don't know. In August was when she shocked the internet with an Instagram post announcing her death. That turned out to be a hoax. And then nearly two months later, as the source of the hoax remains unclear, she dropped her debut single. She was also saying that she blames her father. Like she's blaming her father for the death hoax. Like that he supposedly did it. Which I, I don't know. I thought it was somebody else because I think the dad was saying that. They, that she wasn't the there? dad said yeah i don't know i don't know the dad is like um disavowing all of that but i don't know i mean the internet right now is speculating that this is all a pr move move to boost her music i have no idea i listened to her song like a snippet of it not a fan also she's 14 years old i don't know do we need to have a conversation i don't know she's 14 years old and i don't like i don't like that she's dressed like super like provocatively like she's 14 years old it just bothers me because i know how the internet is and there's like sickos and like mm. it's just gross like oh, all shit. that should happen with like bad baby like billy eilish you know all the young music people that you know pop off when they're younger like everyone's like counting down waiting until they're 18 waiting until they start an only fans like it's sick like it just ugh, it leaves like a bad taste in my mouth and so yeah. her music video was kind of like that and i was like no like i don't know she doesn't have the best people on her team, in my opinion, because, like, what are you doing? So now comes the part where we are going to assemble our burgers, which I'm so freaking excited about. I made this salsa verde. I don't know if you can even see it because the screen might key it out, but it's beautiful. It's delicious. Um, it had four tomatillos in it, some cilantro, some onion, some garlic, <coughs> one <coughs> poblano, and a jalapeno. Is this for chips and salsa or? No, this is for my burger. It asked for that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And it's delicioso. Is it yours or is it the one the book called for? It's the one it called for plus some modifications that I made because it wasn't cutting it. Like the the recipe didn't even say to put salt in it. And I was like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> it needs salt at the very least. But I was like, no, I need to zhuzh it up a bit. So yeah. I did. Um, but yeah. So here's my burger. It's called the Poblano Picasso Burger. And it's really you know oh shoot we need lettuce that's what we need uh, i have lettuce in there if you want to just rip off a piece <laughs> I don't. okay so my burger calls for some tomato that looks so pretty and mm, a spoonful of this salsa right here that's good what's yours called again the poblano picasso mm. burger I'm really, really excited to try this. I don't know whose is going to be better. At this point, they both look amazing. Honestly, I think yours is going to be better, but I don't even care which one I'm eating. 
I'm so hungry. <laughs> we should have made some fries. I know, but it was way too much work. I know. Like, so much work. It feels like we've been preparing for this episode the entire day. I had to straighten my hair, which I never do. And that took like five hours. <laughs> Not actually, but <clears throat> felt like it took a long time. My hair doesn't ever really get full, fully straight. It just looks like it's straight, but it's also like frizzy and it's unmanageable. So that took a long time. <clears throat> but I'm ready when you are to cheers. I feel like I need a toothpick to put down the middle. On mm, very classy, very classy. Yours is made with French bread that we picked up from Sprouts. So classy. Here we go. Mine's just a regular sesame seed bun. Ugh. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. I need more salsa on mine, so I'm going to add that. So for me, I felt like my first bite was all bread and patty. Because, like, <laughs> everything else just kind of fell out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I'm thinking next time I'd do maybe, like, mayo. Because it just felt dry a little bit. Mm, mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, let me take a second bite. How was yours? Mine's good. Um, I thought I'd be able to taste the salsa more, but kind of don't but it's really good like it it complements each other i thought the salsa would like somehow i got basil in my mouth oh because i put more salsa can i try yours and you try mine swapity roo tastes fancy mine yeah yeah it looks fancy it's giving the italian roots i will say i actually do wish that i put a little bit more cheese Mm, yeah Cause then, yeah. Cause I feel like I don't taste it at all. Mhm. Mhm. I would have both of these again. Me too. Mmm. That basil, the fresh basil. Mhm really just adds something to it you know yeah. sorry i was about to keep eating <laughs> <clears throat> wow delectable it's funny because that salsa just tastes like your salsa <laughs> it does yeah it really does it's really just all you this is the book that we got the recipes from i found it on amazon and i actually gave it to my sister as a birthday gift i think she graciously let us borrow it for this video but it's filled with a ton of cool recipes <clears throat> from the show so um check it out if you are interested if you like bob's burgers as well be honest did you like yours or mine more i don't know I'm liking mine right now because it has soft bread. And um, I have like a gum thing going on right now. (laughs) Trigger warning. (laughs) I suffer from inflamed gums. And that shit fucking hurts me right now. So when I ate yours, that shit was not (laughs) vibing with me. Very delicious. It just the bread was hard and this bread is soft, so I'm kinda liking mine. What about you? I love your sauce, so yours. This salsa right here. Where's the spoon? Oh. Here, you're gonna eat, eat this? Right. No, I'm gonna eat this. Oh. <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat that. Anyone else just eat tomatoes like this? That's funny. I never met someone who um, ate tomatoes like that. Until you. I don't eat tomatoes like that. I love tomatoes. Don't get me wrong. I'll eat them in any dish that it comes with. But to eat them just straight up like that just seems weird to me. 
And like, if I ever have leftover slices of tomato, I can just feed it to this guy like a machine and he'll eat it happily. <laughs> and I'm like, I've never, who are you? I've never seen someone of your stature before. It's hilarious. Pass the cranberry sauce. We have mashed potatoes. We have a very special episode planned for Halloween Day. I don't think we'll say it now. We'll leave it as a surprise, but I have booked something, and that's all I'll say. And I'm very excited. It's going to be fun. It's going to be very spooky and fun. Um. Also, I mean... I would love to hear what your guys what your guys' guesses are for our upcoming costumes. That'd be fun. Um we all we have them all planned out already. Um we still need to lock down a few items, clothing items, but we we have the idea in mind and so I'm excited to share that with you and um have a very fun fall season. This is the best time of the year. And we're in it right now. We're in it. And I'm loving it. Sorry, I'm just eating, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to call it a day here. <laughs> but we had a great time. Um, great episode here. Let us... <clears throat> Let's do more of these. More cooking videos? I would love that. But yeah, we'll see you next time with another fun costume. So look forward to that and stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>